Good morning folks. We're straight in the workshop today. No cute shots of little old Reggie because we've got absolutely loads and loads of jobs to do and it is already 11 o'clock. It's ticking on. So let's jump straight in. So here we have a couple of deep fat fire, deep fat fire, deep fat fryer elements. So these are the control sections that you have. This particular one is three phase that we bought yesterday from Newark car auctions so that needs cleaning of course and this one is the one that was given very kindly to me uh, by the chap from Thorn unfortunately his name escapes me I do apologize and uh, we took this apart and cleaned it up back in 2018 I think it might have been and looking at it uh, I did wonder at the time is this both single phase and three phase compatible but I wasn't sure until I'd looked at another model the indication here was the markings on these L1, L2, L3 kind of uh, gave me the idea that they were but I wasn't exactly sure how to wire it up whether it's going to be a Delta star configuration or anything like that so it looks like it's a star configuration all the neutrals are coupled together in the center and uh, looking at this one we can see that we've got three lines in and tapped off of one of those lines for the indicator light is a live they go through the uh, emergency uh, cutout switch and then of course through the temperature control dial which is controlled by these analog um, you can probably see them better in here these analog uh, thermometer probes if you like and then they come back out the other side all as neutrals which are coupled together with this bridging bar here so we've already got that configuration with all these cables and what the original installers had done here was just couple up L1 and L2 and L3 with something as simple as a few pieces of wire to bridge the gap meaning that the whole six kilowatts of this system was running on one cable so that cable had to be four millimeter square or, or so in order to carry that current but you can obviously see inside we've only got two millimeter 2.5 mil cables running from one side to the other so if we convert this to three phase then a 2.5 millimeter cable will be enough to supply the power for this system as is obvious here and that's quite fortunate because I think I've got a 4 mil cable running into the kitchen itself so that should hopefully carry all of the electrical requirements I need to power four of these bad boys so I need to convert this over to three phase there's another one to do next door we'll pull this wire out because this single phase cable is now finished with and will not be used in this appliance again I could probably use it elsewhere though, nice bit of armoured cable there and uh, I need to order some cable glands and three phase sockets and we can get to work getting this sorted but that's a job I can do in the warehouse at any time realistically so what we need to do next is now I understand this is going to work the parts and pieces will go onto a shopping list and I need to go and sort out the electrical supply for the kitchen itself so yes I need to go into the kitchen with the SDS and one of these bad boys down here one of these drills and we're gonna go and knock a hole in the wall and thread through the power cables well we're in the cellar folks so I obviously want to pull those electric cables through upstairs but the state that whoever put this electrical consumer unit in the state it was left it was abysmal and I wouldn't call them an electrician frankly so we've come in I've taken everything off but the lighting circuit and uh, I am working live here but um, I'm taking all the correct precautions and we're going to start to put all of these MCBs and RCDs and whatnot back in and they're going to be all terminated correctly 
and we're going to make sure that nothing's overloading any MCB and they're all correctly rated because well I just it's on my mind it's a mess and I really need to see it done correctly and uh, well it looks like I'm the man for the job right it's all put back together and the front is on I actually forgot to take a photograph of it or get the camera out like a plonker I've just realized um, there's a couple of things that don't actually tally up so that never fitted in the first place so I'm going to replace that and all of the uh, positions have moved now so I've put the RCD protected circuits on the other side so all I need to do is print off some brand new labels and in order to do that I need to go to tool station and get some more tape for the label printer because I've run out then I'm going to mark all this lot up mark the back plate up behind it and then mark up all the sockets in the pubs and all the light switches and everything else so we know exactly where and what things are absolute madness folks it's absolute madness so uh, I've got all the electrics back in everything's working there are still one or two sockets that don't work and they're not routed into the uh, consumer unit so something's gone wrong there down the line uh, looking at this this is what we picked up the other day believe it or not uh, that's polished up nicely hasn't it so Tom's been working on that and I've ordered some cable a little bit like this stuff to replace well it's exactly the same as that stuff on there so we can change this to a three-phase unit Oh, I forgot to get the tape for that as well so I can put the doodly doos on the labels on got to order some of that and I want to order some of the like edging strip that you have in the kitchen so it comes from the tiles to the floor so when you're mopping it kind of has a nice flow that's what Tom's asked me for anyway so I'm gonna shoot back up the stairs folks and jump online and see if I can find it I'm very pleased with how that's come out though, yes. We're home. Reginald is sprawled all over the floor. Reggie, Reggie, Roo. Nutcase. He's getting big now. You are. So, yeah, I'm home alone. Nobody's here. And, uh, well, I'm thinking, do I cook myself some tea? Or do I just uh, ask Gemma to pick me up a nice piece of cod? from the chip shop on the way home and I'll sit with a beer I think I might sit with a beer so out here we do indeed still have on the bar East Coast Nitro and Proof and I've not had a Nitro for a while so I might just do that anyway we shall see folks and we shall see you maybe on tomorrow's vlog thanks <laughs>